Okay. So, hello, everybody. Thanks a lot for joining to our webinar about visual management of your Jira. Uh, my name is Victoria, and we and uh, here I am with Raúl. We are from Technofor, and we will be doing this webinar for you. I am a technical architect in Technofor, and Raúl uh, is our director from Apps. Do you want to introduce yourself, Raúl? Yes. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Raúl, the director of, of Apps in Technofor, and we will present you today a very special uh, session because we we will show uh, uh, our new version of Kanban Combined Web and new status colors plugin. And both are for visual management, you will see. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's understand a little bit our agenda and how we will be talking about uh, uh, improving our visual management into Jira. So how we can enhance the collaboration and efficiency with our teams in order to get a better visual management of all our work into our teams and projects. So into the agenda today, we will be covering an introduction about what, uh, what is our visual management improvement with our plugins, how we could understand why this is important. We will be introducing you to into two plugins that we have been working a lot on uh, in order to improve the visualization of our Jira. Uh, those are the Kanban Combined Web for Jira Cloud and also New Status Color Pro. We will be understanding also the benefits of the visual management and in the end, we have also some expert tips uh, from uh, our visual management success and some QA uh, questions and answers that you can always um, ask. If you have any questions at any moment, please feel free to interrupt us and ask. You can open your mic and ask to us, no problem. Okay. Uh, we are also having a nice demo. We improved the demo in the end of the session. So we are going to have a hands-on part with Raul that is going to show us how uh, we could be working with those plugins, okay? So the idea is we are going to having uh, the maximum power of our applications, of our instances. We want to improve the visualization and having uh, a really good view and quick way of understanding the moment of our projects and how we are working into our teams. So as you can see into this peak in here, we are improving the visualization to understand in a quick way uh, what are the main points that we need to emphasize our work, what are the activities there are in urgent matters and priority, for example. So, first of all, let's understand in here an introduction why it's important to get a, a better visualization of our processes and why it's interesting to discover discovering plugins that could help us on achieving this visual management excellence. So the goal of this session is understanding how we could enhance collaboration, improve the efficiency with our teams and empower the teams, the users, the admin, the managers on understanding how we could be improving our work uh, in a better way, okay? So why visualizing? Uh, the process in a quick way, it's important, in an easier way, it's important. It helps us on understanding in a big picture how the process is going on. We can, uh, we are going to facilitate the process improvement, removing the bottlenecks and the inefficiencies that happens uh, in our day-to-day -day activities. Uh, in this way, we are promoting also the transparency of the process sharing uh, with the entire team and being transparent in all ways on understanding how the work is being done and what are the gaps that we need to be paying attention. In order to assimilate uh, in an easier way uh, the statues, the moment of our activities, of our issues, we improve it a lot also the way we visualize the statues and we can understand directly by the color uh, what is the moment of my issue? What is the moment of my ticket that I am working at the moment? So here we know that by default in Jira, we don't have this improvement in colors and 
by using this, we can uh, use the colors that best fits to us to understand how it, when it's canceled, when it's ready for QA, when it's open. And we are going to check in practice in a few minutes how this works. So first of all, let's understand the first plugin that we are covering into this webinar, the Kanban Combined Web for Jira Cloud. So what is this Kanban Combined Web and how it works? Uh, it helps us on uh, improving our Kanban boards to having a really quick view and quick way of understanding what are the risks that we are uh, facing, uh, the block tasks that we are going to, uh, that we need to take care. Also understanding uh, if we have some errors, we are going to be reducing those errors because we are going to understand in, in a faster way uh, how our activities are and having a comprehension much better of our task status. We could be improving our columns, combining our columns, adding WIP limits, working progress limits into our swim lanes, into the different columns that we have in our boards, adding some backgrounds and so much more. So for example, in here, you can see that we have into some columns WIP limits mentioning the limits of cards that we should be uh, accepting into a column, for example. And we can have a combined whip limit, for example, the QA one in here, that it's a combination of in QA and done column. So we can do this and improve this visualization with this plugin as well. As well as, uh, as with the swim lanes. In the swim lanes in here, we can also add limits and uh, manage in the better way that fits for our team. So the idea is having flexible board views that uh, can improve our visualization and make it easier. If we have so many different columns in a board, for example, and it doesn't, it's not important to us, for example, checking all the issues that are in backlog or in to do, we just want to check two or three columns that are really important that we want to uh, pay attention at the moment. So for example, we can collapse or expand uh, the columns that we have in our board, customizing based on our workflow that we are using into our board that it's um, being um, used into our the configuration of our board and achieving this uh, visualization in a better way. So we can remove everything that is unnecessary at the moment if we want to have a clear understanding of our board and activities, unifying the group columns or expanding them in the way that best fits. For example, in here, into this image, we can see that we have removed some columns, the initial columns, for example, to do backlog, it's not showing in here. We have directly the issues that are in progress done and the combined column in here uh, for QA. That it's the moment, for example, that I want to analyze only the issues that are in progress or the issues that are in QA, for example. And in order to uh, optimize the, the limited screen space, understanding better how we are, how we could be visualizing in a better way our boards, we can prioritize the information that it's important to us to see in laptops or smaller screens. We have some functionalities like uh, scroll, scroll options to, uh, to check the visualization of the entire board in a better way, uh, to give also a zoom, a zoom in, a zoom out, to check better how uh, are our cards and activities that the team is working on. Uh, also using the card colors uh, to improve our visualization and configuring in the way that you prefer in your team. We can use the JQL queries in order to, um, to use the, the part of the colors and improving based on a query that we are uh, establishing, that we are defining. And the transitions also uh, from one color to another one in order to understand uh, that I am moving or transitioning 
the issues from one stage to another specific one, okay? So the idea is, is getting the focus on the important things, on what matters to us without losing the control. So in here, we will be seeing what is important to us in the moment we are analyzing the board. So that's the idea of, of having this Kanban combined whip, improving the colors, improving the, the way we are checking the different columns, and also uh, configuring the settings in the way that best fits for the team. So in order to enhance the context uh, and personalizing and giving a personalization uh, to the way that best fits for the teams, we can customize the boards with backgrounds that I mentioned a little bit before. In order to recognize which project we are talking about, which team we are dealing with at the moment. So in a really quick way, we can identify the different teams, the different projects that we are working. For example, in this, in this uh, example in here, if we are working with a, a football team and another one, we can understand in a really easy way if we are talking about Real Madrid or Barcelona, for example. <laughs> so identifying in a really fast way because we are improving with this background that it's not the fall in Jira. And uh, talking about the swim lanes for classifying our work and identifying how we could be uh, giving a categorization uh, to identify easier what issues we are talking about. So we can prioritize the urgent ones and adding a swim lane to show in the top uh, what it's more important or what, what are the blocks that we are facing. Um, also, checking the limits if they are, um, if we are achieving already the limit of our swim lane or not. For example, into the configuration of the board, you can directly in there optimize this option by adding uh, the a JQL or also adding a limit for the swim lanes that you are working with. We also have the possibility of working with explicit policies into uh, the Kanban Combined Web in order to display the policies that we need to be uh, checking and working on before assuming an activity can be moved to another status, which can be transitioned and moved on in the process, for example. So the policies, they are available right now for everybody. Uh, you could be adding policies into the different columns of your board in here, and uh, the team could be checking if their activities are uh, matching with the policies that are described per column before um, moving an issue to another stage. And also, it is compatible with dark mode. Dark mode from Atlassian, if you are using Jira into this view, uh, we also have the possibility of working with the plugin. The colors change a little bit because uh, they need to match with the dark mode, but they are uh, working in the same way. And right now, let's enter into the second plugin that we are going to cover into this session, New Status Color Pro for Jira Cloud. And let's understand how we could be working with this new status color. The idea is uh, unleashing the power of the color codes and improving the understanding of the team. So we are going to avoid uh, the typical errors that happens because the users didn't identify in an easier way and they just moved a card from a column to another one, uh, but they didn't want to do it, for example. If we are improving with this color visualization, we help the final user 
on understanding that this issue is into this moment and please pay attention before moving to another one, to another statues, for example. So we can also audit the ticket transitions really in an easier way because we, sh we are going to show you there is a panel, an extra panel that we added into the issues to visualize all the history of our transitions and understanding also the time spent that we uh, that we have been working into ice statues. So for example, into this transitions window, transitions tab, that actually it's available right now into all the issues. If you have the plugin available, you are going to have this tab available and you can see all the history of the statues and the time that you spent on it. And the idea is actually improving with colors, colors everywhere. You can check the colors into your uh, transitions history, into the workflows directly in the issue, in the dashboards, in filters. When you are doing a search, you are going to, uh, to see the colors that you have been choosing for working with the different statues into everywhere in Jira. And it's also compatible with dark mode in the same way as the Kanban Combined. For the new status color, you can work in the same way. So uh, in order to install the plugin, uh, you could be installing the plugin. It's free up to 10 users in cloud. Uh, we, we really, uh, we strongly recommend exploring uh, in an extensive way the features and all the capabilities from the plugin. It's a good experience and it can help you and the team uh, with lots of benefits um, on understanding how it could be improving your, your projects and teams works. Okay. So right now, guys, let's have a hands-on part. And uh, Raul is going to share with us um, in, a practice, in a practice way how we could be working with both plugins. Uh, thank you, Victoria. Thanks. Let me try to share my screen. Uh -huh. uh, all the entire screen. OK. Could you see my screen, Victoria? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, uh, let's take a look a little bit with uh, the plugin Kanban Combined with. This is the typical Kanban board of development. As you can see, it's very bored because, um, well, um, has the, the typical functionalities uh, of, of Jira. Okay. But when we uh, install the, the plugin, let's activate the plugin. Okay, come and combine with, and we refresh this view. You will see it's much better. Okay, because we can combine this column as, uh, and we can match the columns headers, and we can create these buffer columns also, the in progress buffer columns. Also, let let me expand in a full screen. There are a lot of options in this plugin. Not only the the match of columns and see the max and minimum uh, working progress, okay? We can see also um, uh, more things like the limits in swim lanes. Also, we can see the typical um, uh, uh, but, uh, explicit policies, okay? The explicit policies uh, are very useful because it's different than the typical approach of use the a checklist when you transition from one status to another one, okay? And it's a very agile way to add the same feature, the, the norms and rules of the team. And well, it's very easy to update, modificate, and show to the rest of users of the board, okay? As you can see, it's very easy. We can only click in the check and add the, the information, okay? As you can see, in each column, we have information added. Uh, for example, when, when uh, the definition of done when uh, of the development, well, uh, in our case, is is tested by the, the the developer in the test instance. There is a zip or a jar file with a final version upload to the ticket, and there is a pull request to master create and verify. 
this is an, an example, but as you can see, uh, we can set the explicit policies in each column and it's very, very useful, okay? Because uh, in a link, you can see this information. Well, as you know, the standard of Jira of the card colors is uh, just a line <laughs> with a color, okay? But we can extend this information and this color just clicking in Kanban Combine Web and clicking in card colors, okay? And the, as you can see, is the your current Kanban board. This is not another board to configure. No, no, it's your current board. And we apply like a augmented reality to construct this. Um, well, about the colors is using the standard configuration of the board. In other words, when we go to the Kanban settings and we go to the card colors, this configuration is the configuration applied to the colors. And as you can see, and, and probably you know, we can uh, change to queries and add this uh, configuration using jQuery, Jira query language. And in this way, we can transition and mutate colors in the tickets when you transition, when you put something like a, a date or, or some custom field. In other words, uh, the, the colors are, can be dynamic, okay? Well, <clears throat> we have more things. I, imagine uh, you want to um, show more extra columns. Like in, in my case, I want to show the discard column and I want to show the waiting, long-term waiting column, okay? But it's a little bit noisy when uh, in our day-to-day. And we usually remove these extra columns. We click in Collapse and Expand. As, as you can see, these extra columns are have been removed, okay? Uh, how I can uh, reset this configuration and apply a new configuration? It's very easy. We click in Command Combine with, we click in Reset Collapse, we are now, uh, all the columns are visible now, but I can remove again this column and this column. And imagine I want to remove this other column, okay? And as you can see, uh, this is a, a, a short visualization of the entire Kanban board. And I can uh, click in collapse and see again all these columns or see the other view, okay? The collapsed view, okay? Uh, and as you know, we can reset again and the same thing. Okay, let me change this. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me only remove this and this one because it's production. Sorry. <laughs> well, uh, we have, uh, as, uh, as Victoria mentioned before, if you are working in a laptop, the laptop screen is very small usually. Then we have a solution for that and it's the wider option. When we click in wider option, as you can see now is more uh, the, the width of the of the of the cards is better and we can uh, obtain more information from the from the cards and take a look because there is a scroll in this part to see the rest of the board okay then it's very useful uh, for small uh, screens or laptops etc well uh, there are uh, some news in in this uh, plugin command on my web because uh, this is the development version okay the, of the of the uh, future version of command on my web and you can see uh, here um, things like these uh, icons okay we have uh, icons uh, to show the dependencies without enter to the ticket and this is very useful imagine why is blocked this ticket well i can uh, I can put the mouse over this uh, this icon and see the linked issues, the dependencies, and I see that are resolved. Then there is no a block uh, a blocked cause to uh, transition to the next status, and this is very useful as you can can see. Uh, we can see these dependencies in in a shot, okay, in a link. Well, but this is not uh, the best functionality that we have in development, we have a new functionality. And this functionality is the time science committed. Okay, we can see now this number, as you can see, is a six, we can, we can see five, this five is days science committed, okay, days since committed. 
the, the same we can see here, 76, okay? And it's very, very, very useful because when you uh, close this ticket, the number here is the lead time, okay? And in Kanban, we, we, we calculate the lead time, we do uh, reports, etc., cetera, to, uh, in order to forecast the, the, the process, okay? Uh, well, uh, how to configure this number, okay? To configure this number, we go to the three dots and configure board. And we go to the general part of the configuration. And in the middle of the configuration, you will see this new setting, committed status. You, you need to select what uh, what is the committed status in your work. Can be in progress, can be set for development. It depends on the, uh, the person who is uh, looking this board, okay? In my opinion, um, or for me, it's selected for development, but for the developers, it's in progress, for example, or for the QA team, is there ready for QA? Then let, let me change to selected for development. Let's go back to the board. And well, as you can see, the number is calculated. And what happens if you see a question mark in the number? The question mark means that the, the, the plugin cannot calculate at this time this information because it's too large the history of the ticket, okay? And then don't worry, we can go with the mouse and it's calculated in this time, okay? 76 uh, days signs committed, okay? Well, that, but this is not uh, only the functionality. We have more things in this functionality. Let me take a look to this other board. If we see in this other board, we have the same number, but in that case is red. And if we go to another one, in that case is green. Why? Because uh, red or green means that exists a due date in the ticket, okay? When the due date is near the current date, the color will be orange, okay? If we have time to, to, to do the ticket, it's no problem, then the, it's green. But when we exceed the due date, the number is in red, okay, obviously. And it's very, very, very useful, this feature. Because, uh, well, uh, we can take a look and, and see what happens with the, with the tickets. Okay, about more we things. Don't have a due date? How? Uh, Choosing those, great. Those tickets have a due date, exactly. That's okay. the reason because are gray, the, the, the background is gray. Okay. Uh, more things. Let me show you how to configure the width limit in swim lanes. Let's go to the three dots, configure board. We go, we go to the standard section of swim lanes, is that page, and we can click in swim lanes with limits. This is a button of the plugin, and we can set these uh, limits, okay? And those limits will be displayed in the near the swim lanes, as you can see here, as you can see here. Uh, <clears throat> let's see more things about this. Well, uh, to finish with this plugin, practically we have the, we can uh, select a personal background and put in place, okay? Uh, let me select one. I can, I can put an URL from internet and put this background, but we have a collection of uh, paintings of my father. <laughs> And uh, let me select the, the, the beach of Joret. Okay, and this is the, uh, the background. But remember, you can set the background you want, okay? If you can put an URL from your favorite uh, picture and put in place as background of your work. Okay, let me disable this background. Remember, the personal background is only for the person who is viewing this uh, this board, okay? It's not for the team, this is a personal, okay? It's a setting, a personal setting. But we have, as uh, Victoria said before, we have a team background too. Let's go to the board settings and let's go to general, okay? In general, as you can see, we can select another background and set as a team background. 
then this thin background is fixed for all people who see this board. It's different like their personal setting. Okay. If uh, we put the uh, sorry, uh, let me check. Uh, I need to I need to check this because probably in the new version is broken. Or let me check. Uh huh. Let me disable and let me enable again. Let me put the the forest. Okay, let's go back. And well, probably it's broken in the newest version. Let me check again. Yes, probably. Ah, no, no, no. Sorry, I think I need to remove that personal image first. Ah, and and I can see now the team image. Okay. That's the point. Sorry, I I think it was broken, but no, it's because I have the personal image, okay, the personal background. Let me remove again. And well, those are the the features that we have now in Kanban Combiner Group. Okay, uh, about how to match these column headers. How to match this? It's very 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 easy. We go. As uh, we go to the three dots, configure board, and it's the standard section of configure columns and map statuses in the board. We go to columns, okay? And well, as you can see, the prefix is uh, is the same. For example, let's let's go to uh, let's go to development, okay? And as you can see. The prefix is def, uh, this symbol two times, and that means will be matched uh, by the plugin. Okay, the same happens here. We have the same prefix with the uh, split uh, characters, and the same happens in the QA uh, uh, part. Uh, we can also put the same prefix and match these columns and with limits. Well, that's the trick to match the columns, and uh, it's very easy. This plugin is also available for Jira data center and have the same functionalities. We are also developing this new part of the time sense committed or lead time is, is finished. If it's finished, the, the, the card, the ticket. And um, well, uh, if you have some, some questions, please uh, ask your questions in the chat and I will try to answer you. Um, well, uh, if there are no questions, there are no questions. Any questions, guys? No, no. Okay, if there are no questions, we can try to continue with the other plugin, the new status colors pro. Okay. About the new status colors pro is a it's a a plugin that uh, colorizes all the statuses of your Jira. Okay, not only in Jira software, it's also compatible. With Jira product discovery, with Jira, um, with Jira business pro, uh, projects, team managed project. This is a new functionality. The team managed pro projects are now compatible. Uh, also, we have colorized to the, the new enhanced uh, backlogs in the in the typical words. We have also colorized the the workflows. Uh, but not only the the old workflows. This is the old workflows of Jira. Okay. There is a new version of workflows and we have also colorized it. Let me take a look if I have some of these workflows. Uh -uh. Let me check in a, in a project uh, company team manage. Uh, we can do a software and this 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 project. Uh, let's take a look to uh, to the workflow. I don't know if this workflow is colorized. I think yes. Okay. As you can see, the colors on the statuses uh, are colorized too. And when we go to the workflow, this is the, the typical new workflow of Jira. Probably in the future, all workflows will see like th this one. Okay. And well, we we can edit the workflow. And colorize, etc. Also, the the right panel is colorized. 
and as you can see it's different workflow than the the the, the legacy workflow okay uh, sorry exit tour let's go again to the development uh, board and well the other functionality that we have in new status colors pro is the transitions panel okay we can click in transitions panel and we will see all these transitions and the time spent in each of these transitions okay but this is not only the functionality that we have in transitions panel it's a little bit hidden but you can click in this button and we can group transitions imagine you have cycles or loops in your workflow we can try to group those uh, cycles and see uh, uh, how many times uh, this uh, loop has been uh, reached uh, in the process okay in that case we don't have loops because we we use Kama methodology and we cannot go backwards okay we always go uh, forward and yes we were doing back and forth so exactly. going and returning to the same stages like you can go for development exactly. If we, if we see the workflow, this workflow is for Kanban methodology. Why? Because uh, there are no, uh, well, there is uh, only exists one, uh, this one. This one loop is the only existent, okay? But as you can see from Selected for Development, for me it's committed. This ticket is committed and must be closed in the future, okay? And then we only can go to the in progress, to read for QA, for inquiry. Uh, remember, we have a buffer column, and for this reason, we have two statuses for each uh, uh, stage. And we only can go forward, uh, business validation, waiting marketplace, and close, okay? And uh, following those um, uh, this methodology, uh, we can calculate better metrics and be more predict predictable. predictable <laughs> sorry. Well, about the, this button, not only this, we can uh, see the group of transitions to see loops, etc. but we have another uh, uh, panel view that is the time in a status view. We can see the time spent in each status, in progress, three days, three seconds in selected for development, and, and 15 seconds in battle. Okay? Uh, in other words, uh, it's a multiple view panel for transitions and time status. This is very useful if you need to uh, verify metrics in ACBI or in other tools. Because remember, if you are in Jira standard, Jira standard only has the history panel. And the history panel, as you can see, there are the word logs, the tracking of changes, not only transitions, there are a lot of information. And it's very hard to uh, match this information of the transitions and the time spent with the reports. Okay? Uh, it's very ugly and for this reason we have added this transition panel to facilitate the, the life of the, of the people that uses Jira. Uh, well, I don't know if I have, I have uh, more things but uh, let's try now with the dark theme of Jira. Let's change to dark with Batman mode. Okay. And well, uh, we have uh, all compatible for, for the dark mode and, and the look and feel is very, very good. Now, we can try to remove the full color. If you see too much color, we can try to remove and it's a little bit different. And this is more standard with the typical Kanban board of Jira. But uh, well, uh, you can you have a lot of possibilities to uh, enhance this uh, visualization. Okay. Um, the, the same happens if we go to uh, a ticket and see the transitions panel, etc. It's totally uh, um, it's totally mixed with the look and feel of Jira. Okay. The same happens with workflows, etc. Okay. And why, why it's important to have colors in workflow? It's important because, as you probably know, when we in, in Jira, we have only three types of color because the color is related with the status category. And we have only three status categories, the open category for statuses, 
that are the initial status, for example, backlog. We have the green for the end statuses. In that case, uh, the green will be for this carded and done. But for this reason, this card is not the same like done. This card means uh, rejected, okay? And done uh, means finished. It's different, okay, the concept. And it's um, very useful to see uh, in a blink that the ticket is discard or isn't done. Okay, let's take a look and let's change to the standard to see the difference. Let me change to light again. And let me disable. Let me disable the new status colors pro. New status if I refresh. And if I click in the same ticket. And if we go to see the workflow, this is the standard workflow colors, okay? As, well, it's very difficult to see and to follow and track this, uh, this workflow because it's, it's bored, okay? It's aburrido in Spanish. <laughs> well, let's change that again. Actually, sometimes people want to uh, move to done and click on cancel. Uh, exactly, exactly. So because it's, because it's green. It's hard to avoid these errors. Exactly. Well, now it's with colors. Uh, you can you can feel the difference. It's highly different. Okay. Well, and if you have some questions, remember you can put your question in the chat box of the session. Uh, if there are no more questions at this moment. We can continue, Victoria. Yes. Okay. Let me let's... stop sharing. But now is the is is uh, it's time for the tips and tricks. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So uh, let's talk about some tips related to visual management. Uh, so we are going to check some uh, insights from the experts and the users that have already experienced with those plugins, uh, how we should work with best practices in order to improve the visualization and the strategies in order to maximize the value of our products. So here are some tips uh, in order to work better with visual management of our projects. Uh, the idea is keeping it simple. So reduce what is not important to you. Uh, improve the visualization of the colors, cards, and color in the, the colors of the cards as well. We are going to be working with uh, the colors, defining the policies, defining uh, the web limits. So. In here, the idea is using visual cues in order to improve and have understanding the information in a faster way, understanding the moment of our uh, issues of our cards in an easier way. As I was mentioning, we can work with weight limits in the boards, in the columns, in combined columns, also in swim lanes, and improving all these parts. So we will be fostering transparency between the team members, the stakeholders, any users or people that are visualizing our boards, uh, updating regularly and understanding what are the bottlenecks, the gaps that we are facing into our projects. So we are encouraging all the teams on uh, trying it, using uh, iterations and using these visual elements in order to improve and understand the difference of the work and how they could be improving uh, their activities uh, by configuring metrics, by adjusting the visualization of our boards, uh, working, being able in this way of working with lead time, cycle time, and other metrics for Kanban that we are not able to work with in a default way uh, of the instances of Jira. So we can improve all these points and use Kanban as we, as we know and as we expect to be uh, using into our projects. 
So right now, we are going to be opening in here for some Q&A session. Uh, please feel free to, to ask us if you have any questions. We are here to hear you, to assist you. And uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. And if not, as no, well, no questions. We yeah, <laughs> uh, you can always contact us and follow us into uh, into the network. We are uh, we are living in here into the material our contacts from Raul, from Mai, and we have the LinkedIn from the company and also the Twitter that you can be connected and following all the updates in there. Okay. Also, the, uh, all the videos, this video, uh, will be pushed to our uh, YouTube channel of Techno4. Yes, uh, you can always access the recording. In you can see again. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, thanks a lot, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks much. for joining. Thank you so much.